Hi and welcome. My name is Corrine Floyd and my goal here today is to show you how quickly and easily you can build a Amazon store and embed it into your blog. If you haven't got an Amazon affiliate account, that of course is the first thing you need to do and just by going to Amazon uh, com if you're in the US, .ca if you are in Canada and then just scroll down to the bottom of Amazon and become an affiliate. Click on there, fill out your own details, and as soon as Amazon gives you the OK, then you are an Amazon affiliate. Now for today, I've set up a affiliate account, and uh, it's a demo. It's just a demo store, so I would make sure that the tracking ID that I want the store on is set up under tracking ID and I would click on a store and then in order to start putting products in my store I'd click on the category and I can give this category um, a name so let's for the demo store we'll build a store on um, kitchen uh, appliances And you have a choice here. I mean, you can add, add, get Amazon to add them for you, or you can add your own. Like if you only want to have a couple of pages and you have specific um, products that you would like to sell for, because they go with the blog that you have, you can add products. Now, we want ones here from the kitchen store. So I'll go to Home and Garden, and oh, I'll put in a KitchenAid because and see what comes up. And if I have done a blog post on any of these products then I would add that to my store. And if I want to put a few details on it I can certainly edit that and put my own details about that particular appliance. Um, I might want to put in another one slightly different. Um, maybe a different um, price range so I would add that to my store. It's always a good idea to have a few uh, lesser priced items in your store to get people to come over and then they get there and they may be interested enough to uh, buy a few more things. So you get the idea it's easy enough to add products to your store you can go around then and maybe look for a few books that might go with your products. So in this case I'll go back to books and I'll put in maybe recipe books. and it'll bring me up some choices and depending on, again on what you've written about in your blog post uh, if you've done something on uh, appetizers add that maybe it's vegetarian recipes that you're after so you could add that and you could look for best selling books there's um, you know any number of things you could look for special season books Christmas books birthday books, uh, kids, and you can remove them at any time you want. So for now there's nine items on every page. We'll just fill in our page here. There might be a cookbook here that you've used and uh, found very useful. So we'll add this one to keep recipes in. Okay so there we go. We've got our kitchen store ready. We have nine items for sale and don't forget when people come here they are on Amazon and can choose to buy other things when they get there. We can preview our store and uh, there it is. All our items are in there. All we need to do now is to go back. I'll show you where you can change the coloring and that kind of thing for your store. So go back to the beginning, click on the A store again and click on the one that you're working on. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to just edit it. So now 
here, you're back here, we've added kitchen appliances, we've added some things into our store so we can continue. Uh, right now I have this set at pink, but if you wanted to um, choose green, for example, make it a, a green store, you can say OK. And it'll change your store right away. And you can change your writing if you don't want the red writing. You can just play around with things and make it uh, maybe blue writing would be better. Oops, it didn't change. Just change it to blue here. Once that little square goes to blue, you can click OK, and there your store is all up and ready to go. Um, I had put in here my demo store. Perhaps I'll change it to my kitchen store, or just kitchen store, or you might have a name that goes with it for you. Uh, continue. You can choose to have um, a sidebar on the right or the left, whichever side you like. And you can make some changes here, have similar items, put in your own wish list or take it out. I've unclicked that one. But basically the store is there. You can preview the store one more time. There's your kitchen store. There's all the things you put in it. If you're happy with that, then you just go back and close that out and finish and get your link. Now you have a link that you can uh, link to your blog or you can actually embed it. If you want to have a whole page in your blog, you can embed this code on a page in your blog and then your store is right part of your blog. Any questions that you may have on this, you can certainly uh, contact us uh, put a comment below and uh, we would be happy to answer your questions and get your store going. So now there you have it. I have given you a quick and easy way to build a store and I have done it in under 10 minutes. Thanks and choose to make this a great day.